I'm still your guy. So we saw him. Well, here it is, August. And I'm a guy from Alabama, been in Florida, Louisiana, and I'm in Texas. And I don't do horses. I've done horses three times in my life before that. And I said, I'm committed. What do we do? Okay. So I go around to places around Dallas, and I said, look, I'm going to be riding horses for a week and a half, two weeks. And I know I'm not up for it. Tell me, tell me what I do. They said, well, you can either practice on a horse for six months to a year, and you'd be all right. I don't have six months to a year. Said, well, the next best thing is you wear pantyhose. I said, huh? They said, yeah, pantyhose. You know, like the ladies are wearing. I don't have to wear a garter, do I? They said, no, just pantyhose. I said, okay. How does that work? They said, well, you put them on. And they're being slick a little bit. You don't have the friction on your legs, on the horse, and on the rear, and on the horse. They also help you when it's cold and a bit warmer. And then they support your muscles and your skin and all. I said, I bet. Let go down and buy some. Okay. I hide them in my sack. I said, I'm not going to let these boys from Texas know that I'm going to wear a panty You know, that would be unreasonable. Jump in the truck, drag the horses, and get up to Colorado. And next thing you know, Wayne says, okay, out of the truck and on the horses, we're gone. I said, hey, wait a minute, I can't do that. Uh, I got to go over here a little bit, Wayne. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back in a minute. So, over behind the bush, get my pantyhose, put them on, stagger them, wet stuff, the cold, off with the boots and on with the pantyhose. Are you coming yet? Well, just a minute, I'll be there. I get them on and get back on the horse. Sure enough, we take off and a couple hours later. I'm not doing too bad. I can <laughs> still feel myself. And when he says, time to take a horse break and a person break. What do you mean? Well, we got to rest the horses and then, you know, I... Uh, okay... So Wayne and Kevin go into the bush over there, and I said, uh, and I go to the bush, I said, uh-oh, I got a problem. <laughs> I said, okay, well, I'm ready to go. Back on the horse, up to the camp. Get up there, pitch everything up, get loaded, hunt that afternoon, come back to the camp. Well, one night, Wayne said, okay. Time to sack out because we'll be getting up early tomorrow morning. But Wayne and Kevin say it's warm night. So off to the skivvies and into the sleeping bag. And they ain't working for me. Oh, I said, well, I sleep cold. I'm about to be there. I'm going to have to sleep in I'm about to come. I just want to video this. I'm going to call them Oh, how do we do this? Next morning, uh-oh, got to get up. Set my clock early. I'm up and out. Get dressed. Well, 
You can see how that goes about three or four days. And in the middle of the time, Wayne said, boy, you're getting a little gamey, aren't you? I said, well, all that horse sweat, you know how it is. I said, no, I don't. Okay. I got to change. So I grab a pair in the shirt, go up to the woods that day, and they said, oh, look over there, look over there. I said, I think I better go over there and look over yonder. So over there I go, and I put the first pair on. Well, this works on for a week. Time to go home. Go back, we're in the truck, just in a hurry. Slap everything in the and We headed home, and we start, we get maybe an Amarillo. And Wayne says, you know, we always stop here and clean our clothes before we go home, because the women will give us all kind of trouble if we walk in with all these stinking clothes. So we just go by the wrong mat and pull them in, take them out, dry them, and we go home. Now that doesn't sound too good. I got a problem. Now, I'll never see these guys again. This is, they were ruined. Here I am, Texas, and these guys, and I'm wearing pantyhose. <laughs> we go up to the Washington, I said, well, okay, just bite the bullet and go. So I start pulling out my stuff, and the next thing you know, one pulls out four pair of pantyhose, Kevin pulls out three pair, and there we go. 